also for those of you that have an e-bike and you charge it like I am doing right now, sometimes you can actually short this out. I just came back after a, a ride to and from work. I plugged this in in the dark and somehow I threw a spark. I went, damn, I, I basically shorted it out and I'm going, oh man, these things are like 500, 600 bucks. And I said, that's just crazy. And then you're worrying, did I damage the cells? Because all you hear about is thermal runaways on these uh, lithium ion batteries and that stuff. You don't want to just burn the house down or whatever. So poked around on Google. I found an old post that someone said, hey, there's a 5 amp Darwin proof uh, fuse in these things to protect, to protect the batteries. I went, oh, that's good to know. So I said, all right, let's just try it. This was, you know, fearing the worst. There's a, uh, I decided to take it apart. There's a little sticker here. Yeah, I just cut through with a knife and it had one, two, three, four, five, six, and maybe one little Phillips on the other side, seven screws came out super easy. The little bolts here on mine, they stay in place. Uh, the screws are long screws. They fall right out gently peeled the two halves apart. I'm not going to do this again because I'm just thankful it's working again. Peeled the two halves apart right here. Here, let's get over here. Peeled these two apart. This little lifter thing comes out of the rods. Peeled that out. Everything is coated in um, glue and that to hold it in place once you're inside. And there is a little five amp fuse taped in there. And I popped the fuse out and sure enough, it was blown. So I found another five amp fuse put it in the little holder, taped everything back up, gently put everything back together, not pinching any wires. And uh, what I did this time, I had this unplugged first, plugged this in, and then I plugged in this. That way I didn't have the juice going to it as I fumbled to find the, um, find the hole. Yeah, I know, that's what she said. But um, success so far, it's charging, no smoke, and I'm keeping an eye on it just in case. Uh, yeah, so my recommendation is take your time with your charging port. You can replace them as well. You just got to know how to solder and find the right part because mine's a little wonky anyway for being, oh my God, it's six, six years old now. No, six, I got this is in four. Oh my God, it's eight years old since I've been here. Oh my God, I forgot about that. It's an eight-year-old battery. This is from Rad Power Bikes and it's still going strong. It gets me to and from 22 miles an hour or so with the big fat tire bike and uh, it's fine and uh, it works and I didn't want to have to go buy a replacement because they're all out of stock and spend 600 bucks. So anyway, my suggestion is when you're charging your battery, two things, power pack unplugged until it's in here or just be very careful. Don't do it in the dark like an idiot like me and uh, keep your keys away from that too. You can short it out. But if you do do it, if you do short it out, you'll, you know, you'll go, oh, you'll, you'll do the Jesus thing. Oh, Jesus. And uh, just pop it open. Be careful with the lithium ion batteries and you know, those, you know, the, those uh, cylinder things about this long. And then replace the fuse and you're good to go. So far, so good. Anyway, useless information. I'm sure somebody else will run across this. Hopefully, it'll help them. You don't need to buy a new power pack. Just replace the fuse. Uh, again, if you are concerned about the batteries being damaged, replace the battery pack. Take the battery to your city and let them dispose of it. If you're worried about it, that's my recommendation, just a CYA, because some people are stupid out there and uh, may try to charge a battery that's been submerged in salt water or something. If your battery pack has been submerged in water, especially salt water, do not charge it. It'll catch on fire. It'll be a thermal runaway and it'll, it'll just burn. So if your battery pack has been submerged in uh, water, salt water, take it to your fire department, tell them, or take it to your city and say, listen, this has been damaged. I'm afraid it might catch fire and they'll handle it. It's a hazardous material and you do not want that in your house or in your car or your boat. Uh, yeah, a, bo a boat actually burnt down. They dropped their e-bike in the salt water, pulled it out, decided to charge the bike anyway on the boat and the boat burnt and killed one person and the dog. Not good. So you just got to be serious with this crap. If you're any concern, get, get, here's my hand, get rid of the battery. PSA. All right. See you in the next one.